WJBF News Channel 6 Sports Desk is brought to you by John Foy and Associates. We'll never stop fighting until you get everything you're entitled to. Now, WJBF sports coverage you can count on. Well, it's week 14 in the NFL, and the Carolina Panthers are still in the mix for the NFC South title as they went on the road for a matchup against the Seahawks. Panthers up 3 to nothing halfway throughout the first. Sam Darnold, he fakes, he rolls, he finds Shai Smith on the two-touchdown Carolina. Top of the second, handoff to Chubba Hubbard. He stretches his arm up to break the plane. Touchdown, Panthers up 17 to nothing. Now here's where things start to change up a little bit. Here comes Geno Smith in the pocket. He's looking, he's got Tyler Lockett in the back of the end zone. Touchdown, Seattle. The Panthers do manage to add a field goal, but man, the Seahawks are coming back strong, scoring 10 unanswered points to make it 20 to 17 with seven minutes left to play. But here comes Blackshear. He finds that seam up the middle rolls on into the end zone. Panthers go on to get the win. Final score, 30-24. to 24. From the turf to the hardwood, South Carolina men's basketball tipped off against Presbyterian for their first game back at home in about two weeks. The Gamecocks were looking to gain some momentum and improve to 5-4 and four on the season, and man, did they do that with a little help from one of their top scorers, Hayden Brown. Here's what head coach Lamont Paris had to say about Brown's performance after the game. He's a, he's a wily veteran. So he's been around, uh, and he doesn't get discouraged. Even if he doesn't play well, he doesn't get he doesn't get discouraged. And so uh, I think he felt he had a couple defensive lapses too. He was playing one on one in the post. He was outsized, but the guy went by and used quickness. And so I I think to some degree he felt like he owed us. He needed to get it back for his team. So um, he took advantage and seized the moment. You know, it, it was good once we got up. You know, I, I think it inspired some guys and. Uh, Hayden Brown was one of the Gamecocks' top three scorers on the night, posting 14 points to go along with three rebounds and three assists. And on the women's side, ranked number one in the country, the Gamecocks take on Liberty, Aaliyah Boston. She was fire getting the hoops down low. She was nailing the jumper. She was all over the court. Boston scored six of USC's first ten points. And for Liberty, here comes Maya Berkman. She's going to bring the heat with a team-high 17 points of her own. Back to the Gamecocks, second quarter, Zai Cook with a great move in transition on her way to score. One of many impressive moments from her in the Gamecocks game. They take a 20-point lead into the break and go on to win big, 88-39. to On the sidelines, acting head coach for the Jaguars, Zach Tinkham, as AU gets things going early. This layup from Tyshawn Crawford was just the beginning as he led AU with a career-high 29 points to go along with a career-high five blocks. Darren Lucas White contributed eight points, including this here layup. And Miguel Arnold was the second highest Jags scorer on the night as he put up 17 and shot 38% from the field. The Jags trounced the Yellow Jackets 74 to 65. And finally, in high school football, Thompson is still celebrating their first state championship win in 20 years. Running back John Tavius Curry with two fourth quarter touchdowns. He finished the night with 243 yards on 17 carries and helped lead the Bulldogs to a victory over Fitzgerald, 32 to 27. How about that, Renata? Pretty exciting, yeah. We love to see that for Thompson. Congratulations to that. Congrats to them. Thanks so much. Girl, coming up, three culinary teams battle it out for the best pasta sauce when we come back.